Bullets don't have a name. I just, I don't get why anybody would fire a gun around that many people. A view from inside Lavish Lounge as the shooting led to chaos, sending people scrambling for cover. The man who recorded that video is a DJ who was spinning records inside the club. And tonight he spoke exclusively with 7 News's Melanie Palmer. Antonio Smalls tells us it will be very difficult, if not impossible, for him to return here to the Lavish Lounge in Greenville. He was inside when the shooting happened very early Sunday morning. It was a busy night at the Lavish Lounge. Antonio Smalls was the DJ that night. The crowd was hype. Everything was normal. Lots of people, lots of partying, and suddenly, lots of gunfire. He quickly hit the ground and then started directing people to an exit. Hey, get down, get down, bro. Y'all go to the back. Hey, listen, that way, to the left. Go to the left. And while people were trying to get away from the carnage, he rushed to help Michaela Bell. She had been shot. Her eyes were still open, and I was telling her to just, you know, breathe, stay calm, and, um, and there's a lot of blood coming out. She died a short time later. <laughs> Clarence Johnson was also killed. He was a security guard and a close friend of Antonio's. He just started fading away, like his eyes started closing on me, and I was just like kept trying to tap him and wake him up. Seeing him, you know, on the ground like that's, that's like my brother right there, you know. I know he'll do the same for me. Smalls tells us his thoughts have been racing ever since, and one in particular won't go away. I have a one year old little girl, and, you know, God forbid she, you know, have to wake up and look for me. Smalls tells us this is not the first time he's been in a club where a shooting happened, but he says nothing like this. In Greenville, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. As deputies investigate that shooting, families of the two people killed are trying to figure out how they can move forward. One of the two.